A renewal of commitment to work closely with Bong Bong Marcus's fledgling government. A vow visiting Chinese foreign envoy Wang Yi made crystal clear to the new president, whom he met today and praised for earlier and positive statements. As we hear the full report for Amela Las Moras once more. President Ferdinand Marcus Jr. welcomed today in Malacanang China State Consular and Foreign Minister Wang Yi. At their meeting, the main objective was set to further strengthen the relationship between the Philippines and China. In an online post, President Marcos thanked China for extending its message of congratulations and support to his administration. The chief executive said they discussed important issues on agriculture, infrastructure, and energy during their meeting. Earlier, President Marcos also pointed out that the ties between the Philippines and China does not only revolve around the issues on the West Philippine Sea. Of course, uh, to find ways to work, to resolve uh, the conflicts that we have. And one of the ways that I have con consistently uh, suggested is that we, uh, we have our relationship not only on one uh, dimension, yun lang West Philippine Sea. Uh, let's, let's add to that. Let's have the, uh, exchange, cultural exchanges, educational exchanges, uh, even the military if, uh, if, that will be, if that will be useful. Apart from President Marcos, the Chinese official also met with Vice President Sara Duterte. VP Sara disclosed they talk about the measures to further improve the ties between the two countries. Earlier this morning, the Chinese Foreign Minister also went to the Office of Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo. Melales Moras for the Nation.